All right, hello and welcome to a, well, I guess my first Maya tutorial. You should be here with me. Uh, we're using Maya today and we're going to be creating a dice. I've done the very same in Blender before. And so we're going to take it through um, relatively speedily. Uh, once you have your interface up, just uh, make sure you have your Maya Classic up or you can choose your modeling standard. That is solely up to you, but I'm going to stick with the classic mode because it gives me pretty much the basic stuff that comes up with Maya. So we're going to hit that uh, create a cube button here and um, I'm just going to zoom in or you can press F to kind of focus in on the object. Now the next step we want to do is we actually want to subdivide this. Now in Blender you typically use a um, subdivision module. Uh, in Maya, we can choose our attribute editor on the right side. Choose polycube number one, and you should see subdivision width of one. So five for each of them. Five, five, five. All right. You can always close that again. Let's look around. Now, what we want to do is right click and hold and select face selection mode. That allows us to select the faces on our model. It's the cube here. Now, as it is with dice or a die, you're gonna look at the opposite size, and opposite size must be equal to seven. So we're gonna click here, navigate around the die, hold shift, click, click, click for six. Next one, two perhaps. Once you have two on one side, you're gonna have five on the next side. So one, two, three, four. Five and the top we'll put four and the bottom we'll put three. One, two, three. All right, so let's just check in wireframe view what we have selected, and we can see here in wireframe view we have all the sides selected. Nice. All right, next step we need to extrude. Now you could either press the extrude button, which is located here. And you can notice at the bottom left of my screen, it says extrude the selected component. So I'm going to hit that button and you should see a little um, dialog box pop up over here about thickness, local translate Z, offset. Let's look at offset for a bit. Currently it's a lot to take in. We just need to pull that in. 0 0.02 is enough. And you want to make sure you keep faces together off. So just hit that on button and it toggles between on and off. So once it does that, uh, what we're going to do next is another extrusion. So we've extruded and kind of pulled in the offset to a 0 0.02 value. Now we want to only pull them in to the cube itself. So hit that button again. You'll notice one, the first one says poly extrude face one. Hit it again and you'll have poly extrude face two. What we can do now, uh, make sure this is also off and um, we can play with the local Z. I'm going to hold CTRL to kind of shrink how far my um, local translate Z goes. And that goes on Z, local translate Z is dependent on your normals. Normals are the faces that are pointing outside. So this is pointing up, these are pointing out. So that would be the Z axis for each of these individual faces. Once that is done, your dice is typically or practically complete. What we'll do, I won't be looking at um, texturing it or coloring it, but we can get off the wireframe view, right? Probably go into object mode, see what we have here. And it's not smooth. So what we'll do is just hit three on the keyboard, whether you're numpad or the other. And what you have here is a die. Now, if you want to smooth out the corners, you can always right click and choose vertex selection mode and just click and hold shift to select multiple corners. Sorry, I didn't mention it before, but holding shift actually adds to your selection. Select that, that. I'm using a touchpad today, so bear with me. Just make sure that was selected. And finally, let's scale it in. You can find your scale tool over here. It's this one. Shortcut, of course, is R. 
and just pull on that yellow one and just pull them in slightly and you're good to go back into object mode and ladies and germs your die is complete you are free to pull in the um the circles as much as you want depending but make sure it comes out like this if you put it in too deep you're gonna have this really um embossed in so that's it for your die thank you for watching